another mock test english literature check the description box for more of such mock tests on english literature and english language this is rtc reference to context multiple choice questions let's read the first extract so the little girl walked about the streets on her naked feet which were red and blue with the cold in her old apron she carried a great many matches and she had a packet of them in her hand as well nobody had bought any from her and no one had given her a single penny all day she crept along shivering and hungry the picture of misery poor little thing i hope you have already identified the story from which this extract has been taken now let's read the questions along with the options one by one after the completion of each extract i'm going to give you the answers quickly time for question number 1 why did the little girl walk about the streets barefoot option a she lost one of her slippers on the street while escaping from the two fast driven carriages option b she was too poor to buy a slipper option c she likes to walk barefoot or option d she has given her slippers to a beggar four options and you will choose the right answer i hope you have made your choice so moving on to question number 2 Who took one of her slippers? A dog took one of her slippers. A thief took one of her slippers. A boy ran off with one of her slippers or a beggar took one of her slippers. Options A, B, C, D. Which one is the right answer? Option A, option B, option C or option D. Question 3. The feet of the girl had turned dash and dash due to the bitterly cold weather. Green yellow, red black, red blue or blue green. I hope you read the extract. You read the text thoroughly. So you will be able to answer this question very very easily. A simple fill in the blanks. Question 4. Why was the little girl carrying the packet of matches? What was the reason? Option A, she collected matches in her free time. Option B, she has bought the packets from the market. Option C, she sold matches in order to earn her livelihood. Option D, she has found the packets lying outside her home. Again you have four options Take a wise decision choose the right answer Question 5 Why was the little girl shivering and hungry It was bitterly cold and she did not have money to buy food It was very hot and she did not have money to buy food It was bitterly cold and she gave her food to a beggar or all of the above it's time to discuss the answers now this extract is from the little match girl from the story the little match girl the answers why did the little girl walk about the streets barefoot the right answer is she lost one of her slippers on the street while escaping from the two fast driven carriages it's on page 88 the little girl had lost them as she ran across the street to escape from two carriages that were being driven terribly fast who took one of her slippers the right answer is a boy ran off with one of her slippers it's option c now the next one question 3 the feet of the girl had turned dash and dash due to the bitterly cold weather what is the right answer it turned red and blue with the cold 
Again, on page 88 we have, So the little girl walked about the streets on her naked feet which were red and blue with the cold. Red and blue, option C. Why was the little girl carrying the packet of matches? The right answer is, she sold matches in order to earn her livelihood, option C. Why was the little girl shivering and hungry? Option A, it was bitterly cold and she did not have money to buy food. Again, time for the next question. It's question number 2, extract number 2. The women often toiled all day at this work and the agent sat on silk cushions smoking a hookah. The story, did you identify the story? Yes, I'm sure you have done that. So let's read the questions now. Just have a look. The extract, the women often toiled all day at this work and the agent sat on silk cushions smoking a hookah. Question 1. What was this work that the women were engaged in? Option A. Collecting paper grass from the cliffs above the river. Family chores. Selling milk and butter. Or collecting Bee Gees. What is the right answer? This work. The closest in meaning to toiled in the quoted lines is worked effortlessly, struggled, handled or walk, worked laboriously. Worked laboriously is the last option. Toiled. So it's time for the next one. How does the narrator establish a contrast between the lifestyles of the women and the agent? She discusses how the agent could contact the paper mills with ease while the women were unable to do so. Option B. She describes how the women had to labor while the agent lazed. Option C. She discusses how the women were stronger and more resilient than the agent. These are your three options. In this case, I have given you three options instead of four options. Read the options properly and what is the right answer? Choose. Just choose. I'm waiting for you. So, let's move to question 4. Who usually accompanies the women and Sibia's mother? Gujar men, Gujar women, Sibia, Kashmiri traveling merchant. Who? Option A, Gujar men, Option B, Gujar women, Option C, Sibia, or Option D, Kashmiri traveling merchant. Now, very quickly, question 5. Which expression shows that this activity of the women was toilsome? Ached with tiredness, great load to carry, had enough of it, arrange for its dispatch. Toilsome. What do you think is the right answer? Ached with tiredness. Great load to carry, had enough of it, arranged for its dispatch. It's time for the answers now. What was this work that the women were engaged in? They were engaged in collecting paper grass from the cliffs above the river. Option A. Page 96, the blue bead. She was going with her mother and some other women now to get paper grass from the cliffs above the river. Question 2. The closest in meaning to toiled is worked laboriously. How does the narrator establish a contrast between the lifestyles of the women and the agent? Option B is the right answer. She describes how the women had to labor while the agent lazed. The next one. 4. Who usually accompanies the women and Sibia's mother? Very easy. It's option C, Sibia. Which expression shows that this activity of the women was toilsome? Well, when I was framing this question, I had 
option A as the right answer. But on second thought, I can say that option B is also the right answer. So both options A and B. Yes, the women ached with tiredness. Sibia's body ached with tiredness and there was a great load to carry. So the activity, the task of collecting paper, grass and then bringing it down to the agent was indeed toilsome. The answer A and B. Extract number 3 very quickly. Now this is pretty clear. It's from the Merchant of Venice, Portia's speech. You see me, Lord Bassanio, where I stand, such as I am, though for myself alone, I would not be ambitious in my wish to wish myself much better. Where does this scene take place? Belmont, Venice, Genoa or Tripolis? The setting of the scenes, very, very important. Where does this scene take place? Question number two. If Bassanio chooses a wrong casket, he will make a swan-like end. What does Portia add to this comparison? That she will cry, that her tears will be the watery deathbed as is the river to the swan. That she will be angry with Bassanio. That she will feel relieved. What will happen? What will Portia do? If Bassanio chooses the wrong casket. The options are there. Read the options carefully. And just choose the right answer. So it's time for question number three. On what condition does Portia gift the ring to Bassanio? Bassanio must sell the ring. Bassanio must return the ring to Portia. Bassanio must destroy the ring or Bassanio must never part with the ring. On what condition does Portia gift the ring to Bassanio? And you will see the significance of this later in the play. Question 4. Here it is. What does the ring symbolize? Promise of Portia's and Bassanio's love for each other. Bassanio's greed. Portia's virtues. Bassanio's friendship with Antonio. Symbolism. What does the ring symbolize? Read the question, read the options and then make a choice. Well, question number five. Which quality of Portia is shown through her speech? A devoted and loving person, a strict mistress of the household, a generous lady or a faithful friend? What is the right answer? Question 1. Where does this scene take place? Option A is the right answer. Belmont. If Bassanio chooses the wrong casket, he will make a swan-like end and Portia adds that... Her tears will be the watery deathbed, as is the river to the swan. So it's option B, which is the correct answer. On what condition does Portia give the ring to Bassanio? Bassanio must never part with the ring. Option D. Question 4. What does the ring symbolize? Option A. Promise of Portia's and Bassanio's love for each other. Question 5. Which quality of Portia is shown through her speech? She is a devoted and loving person. She loves Bassanio and she is de devoted and dedicated to him. The fourth extract. Question four. Extract number four. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. This is also very easy. Identify the poem, the poet, and then start reading the questions along with the options. Why does the poet begin with but? Again, the extract for you. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. Why does the poet begin with but? 
option a this is a poet's discretion it is called poetic license this has been done to establish the contrast between the caged bird and the free bird option c this represents the dialect of the african american speakers or option d the reason cannot be determined and is not crucial to the interpretation of the poem read the options carefully pay attention yes i'm waiting for you to read and find out the right answer the next one question number 2 why can the bird not see he is not used to confinement his eyesight has been affected it is dark inside the cage or he is inside a cage and his field of vision is limited options a b c and d read all the options even if you know the answer read all the options at least once don't be in a hurry yes at present we have time constraint the time is limited so we need to hurry but when you are writing your examination pay attention and take your time the next one question 3 which feelings are evoked here helplessness and optimism terror and claustrophobia contentment and joy or anxiety and acceptance I hope you know the meaning of claustrophobia when it is extremely difficult to be inside an enclosed space when you have that fear helplessness and optimism terror and claustrophobia contentment and joy anxiety and acceptance what is the figure of speech in bars of rage metaphor simile personification alliteration yes i'm waiting and the simplest question who is the poet william wordsworth robert browning my angelou or david roth who is the poet very very easy why does the poet begin with but this has been done to establish the contrast between the caged bird and the free bird option b 1 b is the right answer question 2 why can the bird not see he is inside a cage and his field of vision is limited d is the right answer question 3 which feelings are evoked here terror and claustrophobia option b once again question 4 what is the figure of speech in bars of rage it is metaphor option a is the right answer and who is the poet very easy option c my angelou is the poet i know why the caged bird sings learn the names of the poets and authors this is very very important and how much did you get i hope you have scored full marks